Hi everyone, Lolly here. Today I'm going to do a quick video just to show you what I discovered from a Dollar Tree Christmas card. Um, probably other people have done this on their channel. Just wanted to share with you what I have done with these. So this was the box of um, Dollar Tree. There's only six cards in there, but it was a dollar. So I liked the little image on the front there. So I went ahead and picked them up. I don't normally send Christmas cards. Um, I normally just cut them up, use them on journals, things like that. And that's what is happening with these. Um, I like they had the little banner. I like the little craft paper in the background there. And then they have, of course, the little saying on the inside. So um, I'm going to take one of these cards. I'm going to show you what you can do with something that's not necessarily, um, I don't know, just different ways to think of things. And if you are already a junk journaler or you're getting into it, you already know that you start to look at things much different than you used to. So um, I'm just going to show you. It's just going to be a really quick video. Just, um, just wanted to share it with you. So I removed this and it just has little foam stickers on the back. And then I was going to put that on something else, but I decided to just cut it. And then on the ends, I gave them the little fishtails for a banner. So now I have this cute little banner to use on a different tag. And still, it's still up on its um, foam tape. So, and then of course, right off, we have a tag, right? Um, I have a stamp that has lines, so I kind of just lightly put them on there. I didn't want it to be real rigid kind of lines, um, but already ready to go. It already has the little black outline around it, and it's already super cute just like it is. You could definitely embellish it if you wanted to. You could even, I don't like to fussy cut, but you could fussy cut out another one and put the foam um, squares on there and raise it up so it's dimensional. Okay, so here you have your tag, whatever you decide to do with it, already outlined, already ready to go. I had to shut off for a minute and regroup, but um, okay. So then I got out this punch, which is a tag, and this punch, which is a ticket. And so, let me set those aside. I started to cut out... Let me move this so you can see. Metal tickets. And I don't know about you, but tickets. I love to make them. I love to do like the ticket swaps. I haven't done one in a while, but I love to embellish the little tickets. So I just kept cutting. There's tags. This one, I'm not sure what I cut this with. I think I have this punch, but I couldn't find it. I probably tucked it away somewhere. But anyway, how many things you get out of a card, of course, depend on how big your um, punches are or what it is that you use. I even had these little leftovers that you could just place on a page somewhere, a junk journal page or um, a tag, something like that. My most favorite part of all of it was this little guy. <laughs> and I cut it a ticket. And I went over the background with a stamp um, just to give it some background. But I would have bought the six cards um, just to be able to make those six little tickets. <laughs> they were super cute. Um, so it's my favorite part of the whole cutting up the card. The ink I used was supposed to be red. It really looks a little bit pink. But anyway, I could have got six little Santa tickets for a dollar. And I would have been happy with that. But um, I... That was my favorite. So on some of it, depending on what I cut out, I had to sacrifice having the um, little saying in here, little sentiment, but there's six cards. So I thought if I wanted to use the sentiment, I could cut it out of another card. So um, it's just that you either get the Santa ticket, <laughs> which is really cute, or that, because they kind of one right behind the other. So um, I'm not sure if I want to sacrifice one of the Santas or not. So. 
Um, anyway, just wanted to show you just out of one little card. So I'm gonna try to make a tag here for you and see what we can do with just using this and maybe some ink to ink the edges a little bit. So, but one, two, three, four, five, six tickets, a tag, um, and some little tags for like, oh, and my little banner <laughs> for like 18 cents or so. So that's not a bad deal. So let's see what we can do with it. Now, of course, my look is dark and grungy and inked, but if yours isn't, then, um, you know, you could just stamp whatever colors on here or leave them white, put your little sentiment or something like that on there. So um, either way, you can ink it up and give it more of a distressed look or just leave everything bright and pretty. Like these little tickets are really pretty, just like they are. All right, so let's see what we can do. It's a tag just like it is, but I think I'm gonna change it up. So my tag, of course, is going to be <laughs> cardboard. Everything I do is just about corrugated cardboard because it's my favorite. Um, I like that it's sturdy, has lots of dimension. I, my piece is too big, I need to go off camera here. And it's everywhere, right? It's in every package we get. It's in every pizza box. I always save the top. So when we have pizza in my house, I always just say, wait, let me take the top off the box quick <laughs> before it gets pizza all over it. So um, I do have a paper cutter, but it's under the desk right now. I don't know about you, but I am cleaning and straightening, trying to get ready for company for the holidays. So. Alright, so I have my little piece of cardboard cut out here. And I have before, depending on how thick this is, run it through the um, cuddle bug. But that's over there on the shelf, and so I'm not even going to mess with that. I do like this raggedy edge, so I think I'm going to leave it. So, so far, here we are. So let me get the Mod Podge out. So I'm going to Mod Podge first, and then ink. Um, just because the ink will um, smear, kind of activate once you get it wet. So we're going to Mod Podge first. And my little bottle of Mod Podge has had it. So <laughs> let's let me clean it up a little bit before you saw it. But here we go. All right. So you could just leave this tag just like it is. But I want to make it a little bit thicker. I know the table shakes. Still don't have a good setup for that. My son's coming for Christmas. <laughs> if we have time, maybe we're gonna look into how we can raise this up. Get it off the table so it doesn't shake. So. I do kind of like having the edge around there. So. Maybe we'll leave it. We'll leave it for now. Since I've already punched a hole, let's go ahead and punch that in there. Okay, so I already like it better just because it's thicker, um, heavier. You could still write on the back here if you were going to use it as a tag in a journal. Um, you could also cover it with paper on the back here. So. Let's see. Now, the Happy Holidays doesn't really fit. I mean, you could put it on there depending on what you're going to do with your tag. You can maybe put it here. That's not too bad. It's kind of sideways, but you could. You could put it there. Um, even if you take off the banner, you'd have to cover up some part of Santa. But if I had made it taller, then I could have put the Happy Holidays up there. But I'm okay with not having that. Um, I do want to use one of these little tags, though, I think. And this really is really easy. So, um, you know, embellish with um, just flat backs or... Just 
uh, stickers, anything you want to put on there. This is a vintage photo and it's not showing up, so let me get something else. All right, maybe we could put this right here. We could line it with this. And if you are one who likes to or can fussy cut, my hat goes off to you because I don't normally like to do that. <laughs> um, I think it just takes more patience than I have. So we could put that on there. Now I would love to put this on a, a tag, but since it's already Santa, I'm not going to put another one on there. So. Um, put this on here just for a little something you can probably cut it out way better than I did <laughs> so we'll just first we'll put the ticket down on the card let's just commit to that let that dry so um it's pretty dry now so i think i'll i have some bits and pieces here i'm gonna try these came from i have a video that um i washed one of those rag rugs and i have all of these fabrics and kind of silky it's not sorry silk but it's close kind of that feel so um, I have a video called Eureka and um, that's what happened is I washed it and then I ended up with beautiful fabrics that were in there. I was shocked. I didn't even know that's what they had in there. So I guess they're scraps maybe from maybe a textile company or clothing manufacturers. I'm not sure. So let's see which tag. I just They're just really bits and pieces. I just want to see. Since I punched a hole, I think I'm going to go ahead and just do that. And I'm not finished with the front, but I have this in my hand, so. Ah, I just punched it. Oh well. It's for my book, so. <laughs> just trying to hurry. I'm just. I think Maria from Maria's Miscellany said the other day, everything is so busy right now. I just. And editing takes a lot of time, so. Um, trying to just do it without having to do a lot of editing, but that's what happens when you get in a hurry. So, okay, so definitely you could. Let me cut this. Put a little embellishment here, tie a little charm. I do have some Christmas charms somewhere. I was thinking about hanging this on here. Maybe if it would work. It's a little bit long though. Maybe not. Maybe on the next one. Okay. So we have that one there. So what I'm going to do is just put a little something here. And my new toy. Probably everybody in the world has one but me. But um, I just got it. So I've been having fun playing with it. So I'm just going to peel it here. And again, this tag could be as elaborate as you want it to be. Um, just wanted to show you just how you can look at cards. Um, I have some journals that I use the Christmas card, put that on the front of my journal and then just started to embellish around it. Um, so There's just so many things you could do with a Christmas card. And with this one, we got a lot of supplies out of one little card. Um, you know, just if you don't have punches, then you could just cut out different shapes. So 
this is just simple, grungy, but simple. And um, again, it's blank on the back where you could write on there for your Christmas story. You could cover it with paper um, so that you could write on there better. Um, something with lines, things like that. But there's our card. That's all there. Again, my favorite. <laughs> just the little Santa. That was worth buying the cards just for that. So, and you know, when you have your punches, you want to, there's so many ways. And I have a video, and my friend Aaliyah um, as, does as well. If you just take a template of some kind, and you walk around a page of a magazine or a piece of scrapbook paper, then you could just see different elements. Like, look, that would be cute, just like that. Here we could just have the color. Here's just white. And of course, I cut this up small enough to get my punch in there. But take your template and whatever your punch is or your um, cut out this tag shape that you're going to use and place it over um, a sheet of paper or a magazine or things like that and you you'll see things in a different um, kind of a different light you'll you think oh that'll be a cute tag but if you put your tag shape over it you'll see exactly what it's going to look like or you know get your punch and punch out the sentiment that's here on the inside so um, I have a video on using that technique using a template just to see something differently and um, Aaliyah does as well and I'll put her link to her channel down below because she does a great job of um, doing that she uses magazines and she can make magazine page look so wonderful as a tag but anyway here we go so here's our tag and then these are the little elements that we got out of there so just to give you an idea so now you can go and get your cards also is true for Christmas cards that you receive from others. Um, normally they go in a box or sometimes sadly they go in the trash. So if you take the pictures off the front, cut out the sentiments, even if the sentiment isn't something that you can put, you know, sometimes they're long, but you could cut out the words and use those. Now this was the leftover from a chipboard um, set that I have, but you can go through a card or magazine things like that and just depending on the size of the words you want to write out you know you can just cut them up that way so there you could get christmas right out of there you could cut out just that little holly um you know get a template of some kind and just um i won't do a whole nother video on that but just if you use a template then you'll be able to see um, things a little bit differently like there's little Santa that would be cute just behind that like a little window so um, if you're new to journaling I like to just show you different ideas that um, I was so excited to learn when I first started um, doing journaling and mixed media so just want to share those little tidbits with you as well so sorry the table shaking but um, here we go for 18 cents I have this because my cardboard didn't cost anything it came in some kind of packaging um maybe 20 cents because i do have my tape on here now so you know but for literally 18 cents i have all these little cutouts and that's not a bad deal i don't think so thanks for joining me just for this quick little video i hope it was quick um just to give you an idea and if you cut out the word christmas what do i do with that Okay, so remember we looked at Christmas through this. So if you cut out Christmas or you know any word that's on a card that you have, and put it in the middle of this ticket. Look how cute that is. Now you have a whole different embellishment to put on a card or in your junk journal. To decorate a page, you could put it over here on the side. You can make it a tab. I mean, the idea is kind of endless, of course, but I just want to give you that idea. So there you go. So I think I sacrificed my little Santa on the back, but just wanted to show you what you can do when you cut out, cut up a card and use all the bits and pieces. Again, thanks for joining me. Hope you all are doing well and uh, we'll see you in the next video.